lot of people ask me about the time management. For me, time management is a stress management technique. We live in a world where the pace of life is just increasing day by day. New technologies are constantly being created, we have the iPods and the Blackberries which are throwing information at us 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. And astoundingly, some recent research has suggested that up to 50% of smartphones in Britain have faecal matter on them. If you don't know what faecal matter is, it's the stuff that comes out of your backside. And the reason for that is there are many people that are actually checking their phones on the toilet. We live in a world where we don't even have a few minutes to use the bathroom in peace. We feel that we need to be checking our phones. And it's that pace of life and literally the amount of information that's been thrown at us that overwhelm us. And we find that we may not even get time to get the important things done because we're just being pulled in so many different directions. Time management is even more important in modern society than it's ever, ever been in human history because literally the, 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 the pace of life and the amount of information that's being thrown at us over, is beginning to overwhelm us. So one of the things I'd encourage all of you to do is to be recognising the demands that are being made on your time and have some kind of a prioritisation system. Be able to recognise what are the important and the urgent activities. What are the activities that are urgent but maybe not so important and the activities that are, are important but not urgent. There is no time frame by which to get them done. And activities that, 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 that are on your agenda may not be important and may not be urgent like watching television like the Facebook updates and those things can be a massive drain on your time and prevent you from doing the important things because if you manage your time effectively you'll find that your stress levels will decrease and you won't get overwhelmed and you won't find yourself lying in bed overwhelmed and stressed out because you've got so many things to do that you can't even switch off and get a good night's sleep so prioritizing delegating diarising, uh, whether that's a paper diary or using something like Microsoft Outlook to plan your day, plan your time, plan your activities. And also, where possible, delegate, where you can actually hand over activities to friends or colleagues and get other people to support you in dealing with all the challenges you have to deal with on a daily basis. But as I said, it's very important if you want to begin to reduce your stress levels, ensure that you effectively manage your time.